Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video tutorial for Maverick Render. In this tutorial we will learn to create photo real art from an abstract texture. We will base this practice on a fantastic image by the artist Orpheus Green. A link to his artwork can be found in the description of this video. Let's create in Maverick a plane primitive with dimensions 20 by 20 centimeters. Let's create a standard material and apply it to the plane. Now let's drop the artwork texture on the primitive and pick diffuse color so it gets plugged to our material in the right slot. Next we will drop a pre-made source object from our library. We will use a chamfered box. Let's create a default scatter modifier. Drop it on the primitive and pick the chamfered box as the source. Now let's configure the scatter node. We will disable randomization for rotation and adjust the scale and density to achieve a very dense population. Next we want our scatter to feature the colors in the artwork texture. To this end, in the nodal editor, we will create a plastic material. We will duplicate the texture and drop the copy on the nodal editor. We will plug it to the diffuse color slot and choose instance UVs as its UV mapping mode. Next let's apply this material to the source and see how the scatter passes through a proper color from the base texture to each instance individually. Let's now increase the scale in Z to randomize between short and tall boxes. Let's now copy the artwork texture again and drop it on the scatter, choosing scale Z map this time. We will see how the randomized scale follows the map and creates a beautiful mix of short versus tall areas. Let's now drop the scatter node on the nodal editor. Let's create a color correction map node for the scale Z map. We will adjust saturation, gamma and contrast to force some areas to be much darker than others. By pressing the Update Geometry Toolbar button we instruct the scatter node to pick up the changes. We may make more adjustments easily if we want. Let's now find a viewpoint we like. Let's edit the camera's focal length and enable depth of field. With Control shift click we may easily set the focus point, achieving a miniature landscape effect with no effort whatsoever. Let's drop a stock environment to change the illumination. Let's change the IBL intensity to our taste. Let's try some other environments. Let's now enable our sun system. The sun attributes allow to easily rotate, lower its position over the horizon, or artificially increase its intensity. Let's not forget to save the camera before we move away. From the tone map panel we may fine tune the photographic look of our shot. Let's enable the AI denoiser for near instantaneous results. As you can see, 
making photo real images in Maverick is incredibly easy. For fun, let's drop a different source object on the scene. Let's apply the same material we're using for the other source. Let's see what happens if we disable the first source and leave the second one alone. We may move around the scene, playfully focusing on different areas and achieving a collection of hyper-real results very easily. A version of this scene can be found in the list of sample scenes installed by Maverick, from the start panel. You may open it up, experiment yourself, and create your own depth of field art, of course. This is all for now. See you in the next video. Have fun rendering with Maverick.